All right, so I am back. I did put a little bit of my Tom Ford eyebrow gel, which is my favorite, and I like it when I do a complete eye look. So what do you guys think? I think it's very, very lovely. It does finally kind of came all together with the lipstick. So I think this both items are a winners for sure. Now, if I wanted just to put a little bit of pink to it, and I was looking for my uh, Dior gloss and I didn't find it, of course, when you want the things. <laughs> uh, but I did have here this Charlotte Tilbury and it's very pinkish. It reminded me a little bit of Dior gloss. Where do I have it? Where's dee, 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 dee. Okay, so this is the Dior, I'll put it down below. This is why I was gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury there pretty kind of hinting there, but no, I'm so happy this is the one I wanted. Okay, this is not, oh yeah, lip maximizer. Um, hyaluronic lip plumper. Oh yeah, it's gonna plump. But let's see what the pink does. That's what I was looking for. Do you like it better? Hmm. Well, obviously one is velvet, which is a completely different look, kind of more matte but velvety, but this one had a little bit. I have two of the colors of Dior, but this pinkish, call me. There you have it. It's a second sort of more fun look, but I like the other one also. If my hair was all done, we could, you know, kind of go back and forth what was better, but look at that. Mm -hmm. Love it. I did hear about the powder that came on this collection that is mostly shimmer. So all the reviews have been to not order it. The case is gorgeous. I agree. That's why I didn't order it. So I'm glad I was right on that one. But um, yeah, thumbs up for the Iquat. I mean, the eyeshadow Quinn. Five color couture, 1947. And big win for the lipstick. I hope you like it. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so, please ring the bell in the right hand corner so you know when I upload new videos and tell me what you think. Look how natural and beautiful. Holy moly, guacamole. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. Hello everybody, you're here with Claudio Bury with your host, Claudia Lara. Thank you very much for tuning in. So today, of course, is an exciting video because it's a new product and just lounge, and I'm talking about Dior, Miss Dior. Most of the products are in the 1947, that's the name they were given. And so uh, I wanna share um, my thoughts with you. So if you're interested in that, please keep on watching. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so, and please ring the bell in the right hand corner so you know when I upload new videos. All right, well, let's move ahead and tell you what I got. So there's, this is a new launch. It comes in a very flowery, uh, very beautiful themes. Kind of reminds me of this, although just the coloring. I mean, these are square symmetries, not flowers. Okay, never mind. But <laughs> this sort of idea, that's why I'm wearing pink and, you know, just soft. It's not even pastels, but it's just a soft, light, feminine sort of thing. I guess it's the whole theme of the Miss Dior. And uh, which I, I'm, I'm liking it, I'm enjoying it. I am enjoying that femininity uh, sort of trend, perhaps. Um, so what I got, there were several items. There was a candle, there were certain, I don't know, like smelly kind of buttons or, not buttons, but you know, sponges or something, something, maybe for the bathtub. I didn't get any of that. Uh, and for what I hear, the candle is pretty small probably smells nice. And uh, I don't know about the other little things, the sponges or whatever they are, people put them in their doors. That's one way, I guess they're scented. Um, and then there were these cases for lipsticks. Those apparently are so gorgeous, beautiful. I think they were sold out for some time. I don't know if they're still sold out. I didn't order them. I didn't order them, but I did get, okay, now we're gonna get to what I did get. I did get the lipstick. This is obviously 1947, it's Roche Dior, Miss Dior, and it's velvet. 
it is what I am wearing, which I will reapply after I do my eyes. Uh, the beautiful thing about this is not in a new case, it's in the usual case, although it is uh, recyclable, meaning reusable, because you can pull out the actual bullet. Uh, but the beautiful thing about this, and it is enjoyable, it has a certain, I don't know if you will, embroidery there, you see that flowery. Uh, in real life it's gorgeous, but of course, you know, after 50, I'm 50, and my eyesight is pretty good, but I still have to like really kind of look through if I really wanted to. So is it important for me to have a beautiful flower in the embroidery? Not really. It looks much better on the pictures for the marketing. I really enjoy that and knowing that I have that, but I don't really uh, able to enjoy it as much. It is, you know, enough, so it should show you know, it is enough lifted, but again, you know, uh, I did enjoy, there was the Dior logo right in the lip thing, but I have used it a couple of times and it's gone. Yeah, it's barely there now. I apologize for that. But when I first got it, I just couldn't help myself and I just needed to apply it. You know, like a five-year-old that is like, let me just see how it looks. It didn't matter everything else I was wearing. Uh, so there you have it. It reminded me of the color 972. It was iconic. Let me swatch this for you. I don't know if you recall that. That one was my favorite forever. More in the, I don't know, I would say the 90s, but perhaps it didn't even exist then, but definitely decades ago. This is the new color. This is what I'm wearing. Now, it reminded me of that. Let me see if I find it real quick here. I do have the mini and the big. Oh yeah, 772, I apologize. That's the color. Let me swatch them next to each other and see. Oh my God, this is an older model. I've had this lipstick for a while. All right, so this is 772, which I thought it was gonna be similar to. And this is Miss Dior 1947, the new. So it obviously is not similar. And when I first applied this, which is what I'm wearing, I was surprised of how much, I would say orangey peachy, okay, more terracotta. I don't know what to say about this color, but it had a little more brown, orange, peachy sort of look uh, compared to the 772. Still, I think they're more or less for the same sort of uh, um, use where there is color, it's not bold, but it is good enough coverage and, and ump there, but it could pass for a natural, not barely their natural, but you know, a natural look. At least that's how I used to use the 772. It was my to go every day sort of lipstick, nothing, too much, nothing too little. It was just perfect, beautiful. I don't use it that much anymore, uh, but it used to be one of my favorites. Why don't I use it that much anymore? Because with the trends, with the change of how makeup is worn, it started becoming too bold. <laughs> when 90s, and if it was in the 90s or 2000s, earlier, when I used to wear it, it used to be the natural look but now it's kind of a bolder look because of the trends. At least that's how I see it. And also probably my age, you know, when you're in the thirties, you can pull off a lot other looks that, I don't know how to explain. I think you, you understand what I'm trying to say. In any case, well, that's the comparison I wanted to do. Uh, of course, I can pull out all the new lipsticks and see how they compare to this. But I'm not gonna do that because I like to keep just the Miss Dior 1947 look, and that's what we're going for. All right, so I got the lipstick, and of course, I got the eyeshadow. Now, this definitely surprised me. Not surprised me once I got it, but the marketing pictures, even the one I share with you in the community tab, it seemed that the palette was gonna be very like light, soft, like new dress or like, um, I don't know if I have those here, but 
you know, very barely there sort of um, quad. And once I saw an actual real picture, you know, the ones that other people post, uh, I'm like, oh my God, it's bolder colors. And the other thing that surprised me, I do have the other two, so I will show you. Um, bolder colors and more peachy or burgundy in them. So definitely that surprised me. I really imagine this to be more like these two colors and I'll show you swatches in a, in a bit. But this three, not at all what I saw advertised. And again, I saw pictures of other people posting. So when I received it, it didn't surprise me, but it did surprise me when I saw those pictures. And this is what I mean. Um, I thought it was gonna be more like this one. This is new dress. And I'll swatch this for you in a second comparing, but I thought it was gonna be kind of natural, barely there like that, but no, look at the difference. It, this is definitely bolder and definitely hinting that pink and that purplish burgundy and some red. So not at all. Uh, and if I had seen those, I probably would not have ordered it. We will see how it looks in my eyes and see. The, the other one that I thought about was this one, which is Wild Raffia. Well, I guess it does compare with this, it's just with different tones. Yeah, I think this would be kind of in the same lane, but just different tones in the sense of boldness, right? Um, but, uh, so we'll see how it looks in the eyes. So let me show you some swatches and then after I will swatch the new dress and see how it compares. So this one, here they are the actual swatches of this quad, 1947 Miss Dior. So again, this two are more or less what I thought it will be. This one surprised me how pink it is, but then this one totally threw me out. That's more burgundy, has more peach, and then this one, those two are, I've seen them everywhere. Now this true, this three remind me a lot of the last year Hollywood, Hollywood, holiday kind of case. They came very, very missed your pinky sort of colors. I seen them compare. They're not the same, but it reminds me. It's sort of in the same lane. So if you bought that one, it's more or less the same. Not the same, but more or less. Um, so we'll see how it looks in the eyes. Okay, since we're here, and then I will forget. Let me just swatch real quick the new dress one, which I thought it was gonna be similar to. And let's just do this real quick here so we get it out of the way, and you know what I'm talking about. All right, so I just did one, two, three, and four. This two, if you notice, barely, barely there. That's how I thought it would be. And this two, which are stronger, if you see how subtle, it have a lot of more satin, but subtle, not bold like this. You see what I mean? Even this is subtle. Um, so I thought it was gonna be more towards this. And if you notice this kind of subdued sort of colors, I thought this pink was gonna be more like that. So it gives the appearance of an eye sort of barely there, very nice. That's how I thought it was gonna be. So now we settle that. Let's put it on the eyes and see, <laughs> you know, maybe I would totally fall in love with it. I will keep it either way because I don't have any of the other pink eyeshadow quads or quins from Dior, um, which they're nice. There's one, what was it, Coriola or something like that, um, that is very pink that I've been tempted to, but perhaps since I got this, I won't be being tempted by that one uh, because it was very pink, very pink. And you know, when you wear very pink eyeshadows, they look fun in spring and summer, and but you do look very pink. <laughs> and even though I feel girly and feminine, it, that kind of pinkishness is not necessarily my cup of tea. All right, so what I apply first is this one, which seems to be the more matte. 
and the more very close to my skin, but not, it has a little pink in it. You see that? So it's not like my skin, but I have yellow undertones. Perhaps for some of you, might be exactly your tone, but there you have it. So um, it's interesting because I was watching some of the Queen Elizabeth that just passed makeup. <laughs> Yes, I was watching her makeup through the years. And there's some years that they made, um, you know, she was known by the bold lipsticks, right? She was always with a, a bolder lipstick, pink, red. Not red. Uh, it was more more in the pink future, you know, bolder sort of, I guess sometimes red. But she always had very distinct shades. But sometimes in her eyes, she will wear very light color. Kind of remind me of that. Perhaps a little more pastel as she wore, but just FYI. Nothing to do with today, but it just remind me since she's in the news and, and she just passed. Rest in peace. All right. So look how beautiful. That is subtle and pinkish. I just wore this too. So I guess that is more or less what I had originally thought. And so I'm happy to know that you can create that, which is what I bought it for, which is a little bit of pink, but elegant pink, not very bold pink or fun pink. Look at that. That is pretty. I am liking this. And then of course, I'm putting a little bit underneath the crease out of corner. And then of course you can put the highlighter sparkling. Let's put that all over the lid or at least in the center. Yeah, let's do that. I'm putting it inner corner and to the center. I'm not putting it all over. Look at that. So this is what I thought. And I don't think I would do that with this lipstick. I can go with very bold pink. Uh, some of Lisa Eldridge for sure. That's what this recalls me. And I would like that. Probably not wear it with a pink shirt because then it's pink, 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 pink. But if I was wearing a, more a purple or burgundy even or anything and I wanted to light up the look, pink, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, I'm not liking it with this lipstick. Why? Of course you could, because this is very natural, but because this has a lot of orange and peach. This is more fall, I think. And the look I'm making here looks a little more sprinkly, uh, spring, summer, right? But let's go with the other two colors, because this is gonna change the whole look. All right, so, hmm. Let's go with the purplish. Now, the reason I make the hmm is because the one in the center has too much red and we already established that we, and I say we because I mentioned I don't necessarily love the red and a lot of you said that you don't either because it looks like somebody punches in the face. <laughs> that was a funny a comment, <laughs> but it's true. So, okay, so this burgundy sort of one, really lovely, lovely purplish. It's not as burgundy as I thought. It becomes burgundy next to this red, but I'm liking the purplish. You know how, I don't know about you, but I know I look for the right purple. You know, we look at purple and we're like, oh, we want purple. And to me, it's not an easy task to find a purple that looks elegant, not fun sort of purple. And most of the purples that I found become very eggplant, uh, which is supposed to be great for blue eyes, but I never like it. I think it ages me. And so I'm always in the search of the rice sort of purplish. And I think this qualifies. Look how beautiful. It does look purple. I mean, come on. Can you find the purple in my headband? Do I have anything purple here that I can compare it to? Hmm. 
No, I have burgundy. Well, oh, yeah, I have, like, let's say, right? I mean, this case, this is Chantikai. This is rock rice, leaf bell. This is the elephant. Um, leaf bell, rock rose. But the case itself is a little purplish. Maybe it won't translate. All right. Um, I do have some burgundy from Sonia G. See, it's not. This is a red. Yeah, too red. All right. Maybe it's useless what I'm trying to... <laughs> Because I do have some violet here. Uh, but no, I'm talking purple. All right, never mind. Um, I hope you know what I'm talking about, but I'm really liking this. Purplish. And of course, do I have to apply the red? It's a, it's a queen, right? It's a five shades and don't we want to see the five shades I like that like that so what I'm gonna do and do I like it with this lipstick yeah yeah I mean what blush did I wear I brought the new um this is Charnel from Dior this is kind of brownish peachy that's what I wore on my cheeks. So this will definitely go with that lipstick. And usually if you put your cheeks going with your lips, it goes. It makes everything go. Um, I'm applying a little bit more so you see. So this will make it go. But do I necessarily totally in love with that combo? Mm, no. I probably will apply a little more pinkish there just to go with the eyeshadow. So I'm very curious about why they put this lipstick with this eyeshadow. Most likely will be because the combination with the red and we'll go there, we'll go there. So here I have Laura Mercier. I thought this will have more pink, but it doesn't. And my other favorite than Taye. Yeah, no, I don't like this. All right, whatever. I already put it on. What can you do? We need to equalize, equalize. I'll find another. You know what will go well with that? The Pat McGrath, the kind of violet duo sort of thing. Yep, yep. Or, yeah, I know what. That always, always saves the day. Always saves the day. And that is the Dior... Aha! The rosy glow. The rosy glow always saves the day when it is a little pinkyish. Always, always, you'll see. Yeah, of course, because, and then you can put a little bit in your eyes so it kind of ties. Yeah, it, it, it brought the whole thing cooler <laughs> and pinkyish. All right. Let's continue and we'll fix everything at the end. So we have to go to the red because I want to show you, but you see, and then we'll equalize. So it'll be a combination of all. Now the red is in the center. Usually in this Queens, the color in the center is supposed to really work with everything else. So we will see, and I'm applying the, I would apply this on top of the purple, but I want you to see how this color looks. All right, so immediately I'm noticing it has some pink in it. So it's not just red burgundy. So kind of different than that and the swatch. Look at that. Do you see the pink in it? So it is lovelier than I thought. And if you put more of the pink, let's put more of the pink on top makes it even more pinkish which this color deeper um deeper skin tone i think it will make it look and you know appear and it will look lovely i think so give it to the or making some colors that will work for light skin and deeper skin because i think that will work 
if you have deeper skin, let me know if you have it and see how it looks. All right, so look how different. This is more with the red, no purple, and this is with the purple. So very, very different looks. Remember, you can put this and then change the blush, change the lipstick. I mean, it will transform the look. This one is going more with the lipstick and, and the blush I am wearing. So beautiful. Now, before I equalize them, I just wanted to show you, um, when I saw this color, it definitely reminded me of the Victoria Beckham new fig eyeliner. Oof, has like, cause I use it. Let's just apply here. Mm, has a little more purple. But as we saw going, you see that? Definitely goes, definitely. So it's not swatching the way it is. Let's see if I just, because on the eye it looks a lot more purple. All right, well, I've been finding out, I guess with the new formulas and, and the new things coming out, the, um, the shades of many different brands are not looking at all like you swatch them, how it looks in the eye. So it reminded me also of this Bordeaux, which is more burgundy wine. But now that I swatch it here, see this one looks a lot more terracotta or a lot softer kind of terracotta, not burgundy at all. This one immediately looks more red. Here is where it kind of shows more of the purple once I put it together, if you notice. Not as purple as this, but more purple. All right. So that helps me decide. I will use a little bit of the fig eyeliner. Let's see how that changes a little bit. Of course, it has barely there. I need to sharpen this, which I will, because I'm gonna have to go and apply mascara anywho. But I wanted you to see how much that changes the look. Look how beautiful. I like this one with both. Look at that, look at that. Right? Oh my God, all right. So I like this Quinn. <laughs> We're gonna tell you. So now, now that you see, and now that you see, let's equalize. So I'm gonna put a little bit of the red on top of the burgundy. It's gonna change the look already. But I am not applying it everywhere where the burgundy is. I'm applying it just kind of inside the crease and in. You see that? Like a radiant. You see the red and then the purple on the top. Oh, I like that. I'm going to apply just a little bit of the purple up here. Because that's what I want it to show the most. And yet the red is there. Mm-hmm. So definitely you can ramp up from very simple every day and then ramp up for a whole night or eye shadow look. So on this side, let's see if I do the same just inside. So we're doing the opposite, right? So the predominant is the reddish. And that way it will go more with the lipstick. Oh yeah. So I like both ideas. Which one do you like better? With the redder on top or with the purplish on top? This I like more with the lipstick. This I like more for my eye color. But again, I think it will it will really depend on what you're wearing for the day. Mm -hmm. So for today, I am gonna equalize it, trying to get more of this, if possible, with the purplish on top, even though right now it will be harder because I already put a lot of red. But I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna apply mascara, and I will be right back. 